So, level up or trash him? Everybody's been talking about it. Don't know why people would say he's not, he, he, if you should trash him. Maybe because he's expensive. He's big deal, but hey, come on. Big legendary, so I probably should. Big thing here is Adam Warlock is crazy. His kit is nuts. So, see, his basic basically prolongs any negative effects. So, anybody else going on there with him got some negative effects? That would be great. So, it, let him go ahead and and just he gets to prolong him. It's it's pretty pretty damn good. Is is special. That one's fun because hey, the ability to block somebody for two turns. Wow. And then the ability to block all villain protectors and apply disrupt to all enemy protectors. So most of the time there's a protector on the field. Poof. Somebody's getting something. Somebody's getting something there, and then you max it out. It's five hundred percent. And you keep on going. His stats aren't small at all. He's just He's just a little slow, that's all. He's just a little slow sometimes. But when he hits, he hits. He hits like a truck. And then you got his ultimate. You apply safeguard to self and all Infinity Watch allies, which means it's kind of just that particular one just stuck to Infinity Watch. So that just, that just makes it go, eh. You got to have Infinity Watch to get that part. But if you're going up against anybody and you're just picking them on seam like DD or with legendary nodes you can apply stun which is great and then you apply stun again so it's pretty the nice it's a it's a nice one there and it's decking to stealth targets which means basically if you're hiding he finds you great so if you can beef him up he's pretty pretty decent 420 percent damage is not that bad especially with 372 hitting on an adjacent target and then it's passive. His passive is nuts. So he gets safeguard and immunity self and all Infinity Watch allies as soon as he spawns. So you're getting it either way for him. Um, usually if you start with him at the max health, you're going to be able to revive with 60%. 60% of his max health is pretty big anyway. Plus you get death proof regen and defense up. So I don't see what all the motion's about. Plus you can clear regeneration from all enemies. And then he applies that regeneration, if they have it, to the most injured ally, which is cool. So that means you can beef up a little bit of your characters. It ain't going to be a lot, but eh. And then once he gets below 20%, if he doesn't get, like, nuked or anything, regeneration, safeguard, and two deflect. The two deflects helps to a point, but depends on who's hitting you. And then when this character or any Infinity Watch ally gains death proof, apply safeguard to that character. Wow. But that's only for Infinity Watch. So there is some pros and cons too because there's a lot of Infinity Watch details in here. Just like this, you get to, if you got basically a full Infinity Watch team, you're lowering the damage by the enemies by 10%. Plus, you're gaining health, gaining even more health, then gaining armor, then gaining even more armor. So this is like, it's a book. But it's a lot. And it's a lot just for Infinity Watch. So the pros and cons are there. It's just, eh. I mean, really, do. do I don't want to say he's bad, but he's he's pretty decent, especially as a striker. You get to hit, and then you get to hit again, which basically, if you're hitting, if they got vulnerable on them and they got a few negative effects that aren't, you know, that isn't ability block and stun, boom. You're applying two bleeds, and then you're extending whatever is already on him. So that's could be a, that, that could be detrimental to people, and it, it, it could change really quick especially two bleeds and then boom you hit him with striker boom again so now you got four bleeds on them and if they're a little weaker than that when those bleeds hit when that turn comes up phew, he's just gonna drop so i would say yes level up adam warlock he's still good compared to the rest of the legendaries he's okay but i mean you got shuri out there who's who's falling off you got star lord who definitely fell off He's not going on. He's not getting any update anytime soon. So I'd say yes. Go with it. Go with Adam Warlock. Beef him up as far as you can. I would say at least 
to 15 only because he's pretty good in dd4 he did help out a lot he extended those debuffs many times especially with the striker so i'd say yeah just just beef him up and if you can put him on there go but i'm gonna leave him at that i don't know if i'm gonna take him to 16 but he sounds pretty good for dd5 and i might end up doing it unless they come out with another legendary that's similar or has something with them and i might focus on them but i don't know just gonna have to keep looking at looking at it but adam warlock is a definite yes so give it up i'd say beef up adam warlock and then move on to the next legendary because you need five of them so warlock jubilee omega red is is nuts we'll probably go against with him too he is oh he is beautiful but next time